the Cold War going on between the Presidency, Cabal, and National Security Service. Babangana Mungunu, a retired Major General over who controls the nation's security apparatchiks, seems to be gathering more steam with some members of the Cabal pushing to ensure that the NSA is kicked out by President Mamadou Buhari. Cabal plots rift between service chiefs, NSA, fierce probe of over $1 billion arms funds. Hmm. Those familiar with the undercurrent of the relationship between the cabals and the NSA said that the cabal was not comfortable with the romance between Mugono and the service chiefs. The relationship between the NSA and the service chiefs was said to be very cordial, unlike the situation during the era of the immediate past service chiefs. The outgoing service chiefs are the chief of defense staff, General Abayomi Oloni Shakin, chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tsukori Buratai, chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Ekwe Ibas, and chief of air staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar. The new service chiefs are Major General Leo Irabo, chief of defense staff, Major General Ibrahim Atairu, chief of army staff, Rear Admiral AZ Gambu, chief of naval staff, and Air Vice Marshal I.O. Amaho, Chief of Air Staff. The rosy relationship it was gathered as seen the NSA and the service chiefs now holding their regular Tuesday meetings on security situations and strategy. But this, according to security sources, has not gone down well with the cabal and they are plotting to break their ranks. The ultimate aim of the cabal is to sell to President Muhammad Buhari the theory that the service chiefs do not have confidence in Mungunu and consequently establish a ground to force him out of office, a security source said. According to the source, the fear of the cabal is that Mungunu, who had a running battle with the diseased as chief of staff to the president, Abba Kiari, said to be, to be the arrow ahead of the presidency power brokers may use his costly relationship with the new service chiefs to probe the $1 billion arms purchase fund and other procurements under the former service chiefs. Since the death of Kiari, Buhari's new media aides, Shabu Yusuf, aka Sunde, has been leading the charge among the cabals. Recall that in 2018, President Buhari, wor uh, Buhari worried by the resurgence of Boko Haram's activities after the presidency claimed they had been technically defeated, approved the FT sum of $1 billion for the procurement of more sophisticated arms by the defense authorities. However, there had been grumbling among security personnel, especially those in the front line of the war against terrorism, that not much military hardware were procured with the money. Inside source said equipment were purchased were over invoiced. Other complaint that trailed the expenditure of one billion dollar was that some of the equipment were refurbished and passed off as new ones. There were strong hints within the security circuit that Mongunu may order an investigation into the deal as the amount expended does not match the equipment purchased. The purchase of arms has remained a sore point in the nation's military annals in recent years. The NSA, however, has not given any hint to that effect. Neither does its body language suggest imminent investigation of the arms purchase deal under the previous set of service chief. On April 12 this year, while appearing before the House of Reps, ADO Committee Atairu told the House Committee probing the purchase use and control of arms, ammunition and related hardware by military, paramilitary and other law enforcement agencies in Nigeria to invite its predecessors to shed more light on the arms procurement, while responding to queries raised by the committee for him to give details on the military hardware purchases by the military. The COAS class bluntly told the House AD HOC committee to invite the persons who made the purchase, explaining that all the purchases under scrutiny were done by individuals. Though Atairu did not mention names, but a list of his predecessors include the likes of Lieutenant General Azubi K. E. Jirika, who was the COAS between September 2010 and January 2014, Lieutenant General Kenneth Minima, who was the COAS 
between January 2014 and July 2015 and Buratai respectively the longest serving COAs in recent history with over five years under his belt. House Insider said the report presented to the ADHOC committee heavily pointed to Buratai era as the period many questionable hardware purchases were made. It was learned that some top military officers were moved at the way the purchases were made. This may explain the outline told by Atairu that the committee rather than echo him for what he did not knowing about and was never part of it should invite the individuals who made the purchases. When pressed by the committee to give further explanation to his report before them, Atairu intoned and noted the summation before you speak to the report before you, it is an executive summary. It is self-explanatory because when you demanded for this report, you stated specifically the areas from which you wanted this report. You may wish to recall that the COA is referring to himself took over the mantle of leadership barely two months ago. The period from which you wanted this report, having been summarized in this executive summary, explains whatever details you will require. Issues of procurement that you so demand to know were done by specific individuals. Or rather, you call these individuals to come and explain to you very specific issues. The general issue has been contained in the report and the summary and the other executive summary is so contained. It goes to speak about the entire report and it explains. Hmm. What we are saying in essence, what we are reading in essence is that Atairu, which is the chief of army staff, have been invited to come and face panel and he faces probe that over one billion dollars were released for purchase of arms. That recall as it that he said he is not the one to be asked that question. That he needed to start from Iye since 2010 till uh, uh, Buratai's tenor. And Buratai's tenor is the long service chief among all the old chief of army staffs. And he said the one billion dollar fund that is meant to be to purchase arms where is the account you need to be accountable for and so many people were saying that the the, uh, the, 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 the ammunition that were uh, that were supplied are just inferior like i used to say that they give soldiers inferior ammunition to fight insurgency and without a uh, mincing word most of those weapons are inferior that's why Boko Haram has been defeating uh, the Nigerian army. Somebody says the attempts by the cabals in the presidency to cause rift or division between the NSA, Mungunu, and the service chief will fail woefully. What is wrong in investigating the arms deal and transaction that went on under the past service chiefs? The former coerced Tukobratai must be invited to shed light on arms purchased during his tenure. We are talking about a whooping $1 billion year that have went into private accounts and pockets without any records of delivery of the weapons and arms that were purchased. It is very evident that there are some cabals both within and outside the presidency that have benefited from these shady deals of arms procurement in recent times. Nigeria. <sighs> I'm tired because I have been complaining, complaining. I would like you two to help me out in your comment section. Let's deliberate on this issue. Where did the money go to?